guys welcome back to my channel um, I haven't been posting or making any videos because as we all know um, COVID-19 is rampant all over the USA I have been home on lockdown um, since this all started and um, we found out that it was very contagious that you can spread it easily to other people I have been locked in my house I'm coming live to you from my kitchen as you can see behind the dishes behind me um, the only thing I did today was my hair because I'm not going nowhere. I usually do makeup when I'm going to upload a video on YouTube, but I decided to leave this as raw and as simple as I am. Also, this video will not be edited. I'm just going to upload this like this because I haven't been able to really record and upload the videos that I wanted to upload because a lot of the content that I wanted to do was going to be on location i wanted to record a video with carlos and my sister carlos is my boyfriend if you're the first time here <clears throat> i wanted to play a game with them of who knows me best <clears throat> and um i was singing earlier so my voice is hoarse that's why i keep clearing my throat so i do apologize um, excuse my appearance as you can see I'm home there's no makeup but I decided to come live because I wanted to show you how you can prevent coronavirus and how you can take care of yourself and your family members so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is asthma I'm an asthmatic <clears throat> and I have been an asthmatic for all of my life um, since I was born. I was born with asthma. Asthma runs in my family. And there are medicines and steps you can take to prevent an asthma attack in your life. All of these steps that I'm going to show you today has to do with you seeing a doctor. So if you do have a doctor um, and you do have asthma, which is if anyone if you if, for those of you who don't know I should say is asthma is short of breath chest tightening fatigue you feel like you're not receiving any air um, sometimes the doctors can listen to you and it sounds like you're receiving air like your air is getting to your lungs but you've got so much congestion in your chest that you feel short of breath and that's something that they can't really feel for you you have to let them know what you feel in order to get treated properly um sometimes by you being short of breath and then having your chest tight so tight like that they will not be able to notice on the oxygen monitor that they put on you when you go to the emergency room. Um, I've had that happen to me plenty of times and I've had doctors tell me, oh, your breathing is fine, your oxygen levels are great, but if that was so true, then why can't I feel like I'm breathing? Why do I have a headache? Why am I dizzy? Why, you know, when you are not receiving the proper oxygen, as an asthmatic, a lot of things happen to you. You get dizzy, you get nauseous, you enter and you get like panic attacks, you get anxiety because you feel like you can't breathe, you feel like you're going to die. So it takes a good doctor to really listen to their patients and get you the medicine that you, that you need and that you deserve. <clears throat> With that said, as an asthmatic, uh, be, I haven't left the house, but as an asthmatic, if I needed to leave the house for whatever reason, I take these. So these I've had for a very long time stored with all of my medicines that I carry around uh, from house to house. Um, so, you know, get these masks. Um, whenever I go to the emergency room, I get tell them to give me some. I have three right here. So let me do this. I have three. I have three and Carlos has two if um, I ever need extras um, so when you're in the middle of an attack prednisone is a steroid and they'll want to give that to you 
As for preventative measures that you can do from home um, is first of all, listen to your doctor. Um, most doctors will give you Advair, okay? If your personal doctor gives you Advair, then do it. Um, I haven't done it yet because I woke up, I showered, I did my hair, and I went straight to my home office to work in there um, because Carlos and I were putting stuff up. We were decorating it, rearranging it. Um, so stay tuned for an office reveal um, coming up. Um, so take your Advair. You're going to want to take your Advair. A lot of doctors as well will give you allergy pills. So one of the allergy pills that was given to me is Loratadine. This is for seasonal allergies. Um, and I'm supposed to take one tablet every day for allergies. So you want to take that. And they'll also give you Singular. Okay. Sometimes they'll give you the generic. I can't even talk. The generic kind, which is the Montecu Mon tell you cast whatever it's 10 milligrams it is singular and this is for asthma and allergies as well so what this does is it helps you prevent an asthma attack so if you take singular every day one every day that can help you not get asthma even during flu season I usually get asthma with the flu all the time whenever I get the flu. So for me, it's important to find ways to prevent asthma attacks because I know that I am very prone to it because since I was a little girl, I have had um, asthma. And also um, due to that, due to hay, seasonal allergies and, and having asthma, my immune system is not that strong. So to strengthen my immune system, I got a whole bunch of stuff. First things first is vitamin C. I got a pack, this pack of two. I have this one that's open and this one that's brand new, okay? Um, I bought a pack of two on Walmart and as you can see, I still have plenty of it because I tend to take vitamin C when a cold is starting. I'm supposed to take it every day, that's how you prevent it. But instead of taking it every day, what I do, uh, well, what I started doing is using emergency. So this is a liquid form, a powder form, to support your immune system, all right? So emergency and it's a thousand milligrams, okay? So I'll take that and then I'll take a thousand milligrams in pill form, which is two of these in the morning, two of these at night, and then one packet of this. That will boost your immune system, especially when you're starting to get sick um, with the flu or even a cold. Um, that has helped me a lot. Usually um, in the past, when I've had the flu or I've had a cold, my colds would like transform into the flu and the flus would transform into bronchitis. So in order for me not to have bronchitis, I will double up on vitamin C's and I will also drink Airborne. Airborne is good to drink every day. It has a blast of vitamin C plus 13 vitamins, minerals, and herbs. This was created by a teacher because every flu season she would get sick. So this is preventative. It will help you prevent the flus, the colds, you know, all that seasonal stuff during winter time. So vitamin C, your preventative asthma medication if you're an asthmatic, um, airborne helps you prevent all of that stuff. Um, now, for things that I use when I have, I have already gotten the flu or already gotten a, a cold is I take Ricola. These are er, natural herb cough drops. 
Um, naturally soothing relief that lasts from Switzerland, okay? So actually, I do need one <clears throat> because I have allergies and as well as Corona coming into town and blasting everybody, um, the pollen has been going up because we haven't really had a winter here. We are actually have transforming into spring soon and the pollen is starting to go up, so which causes dry and itchy throat like I have right now. Also, I have a dry and itchy throat because I was singing. So, um, as, all right, so, taking a Ricola, sucking that, um, I will have a Ricola three times a day. Um, I'll do one in the morning, one in the afternoon after lunch, and then one at nighttime, like around dinner time, and sometimes even at bedtime. Um, if I'm really, really sick. So that is very helpful. Now, the other thing that I'm going to teach you is going to be insane. I have, um, I was told this about ginger, which is what I'm gonna show you right now. Some raw ginger, Carlos got me all of these, okay. This is ginger root, and I'm, I haven't opened it yet. I'm gonna start doing tea tonight. This is what a ginger root looks like. <sighs> Smells so good. You can use this to cook. You can chew this with, you, you cut it up, you, you know, you peel it, you cut it up into chunks, roll it in some sugar, and chew it. That's what the Africans do when you, they have a sore throat. It cures your so it's spicy. Ginger is very spicy, but it will cure any sore throat, any cold, and any flu that you have like that. Um, one time I was feeling so, so sick with the flu, and I mean, my body was run down, my, my nose was stuffed up, I was coughing up the wazoo, I couldn't breathe, I mean, I felt like I was dying in bed. Carlos was so sweet to me to make me soup and things like that, um, and like, help me out by getting me things that I needed. Um, but this ginger is what really helped and I say that because I called my mom and I just let her know that I was really really sick and when she called when she's listening to me she tells me have Carlos buy you some ginger root you can find that in any Walmart or any bodega that you have near you um, I usually buy mines in Walmart because I find it there a lot um, and it's the closest store to me. Um, what I do is I peel it up and I, or sometimes I don't even peel it up. I just cut it up and I throw it in a saucer in a little pan. Do I have any pans out here? No. Uh, here. I'll cut it up and I'll put it in here, okay? Fill this with water, and I'll make enough for Carlos and I, okay? I'll make enough tea for Carlos and I, and then, when it's done, when it's done, I will put raw, pure honey. Raw, unfiltered honey is the best thing. I live in Pennsylvania, so there's a lot of farms that sell raw, unfiltered honey, which is the best. Um, those two combinations. Um, I will add uh, some. Sometimes the honey, if the honey does not sweeten your tea. What I do to remedy that is I'll add some sugar. I'll just add like a teaspoon or two of sugar because the thing with that is 
is that ginger is very, very bitter. Um, if you've ever had Chinese food, and if you've ever had thin slices of ginger, you they taste sweet. Ginger is not naturally sweet. That was sweetened for the sushi, okay? So, um, you're gonna wanna put honey and, sh and maybe even sugar. If you like honey, then the more honey, the better. Um, but this is all I do is I cut up some ginger, boil it, and after I boil it, I would say boil it, um, I would say, excuse me, leave the ginger in the pot and let it boil for about 10 minutes, um, the most. When you see that it is boiling, um, be careful though, you, if, you've, if you let it dry up, then the water evaporates. Like you have no tea, that's not tea. Um, let it boil and let it sit. Once it boils, what, I do, what I'll do is I'll turn off the water and I'll let the ginger sit in the tea for, for I would say two to five minutes, just because the spicier the tea, the better. Trust me. I know it sounds weird, but like you see how hoarse my voice is because I was belting out Bruno Mars songs while I was working in this office. Um, this tea will clear this right up, okay? Also, if you have a scratchy throat or itchy throat or dry throat and it doesn't matter how much water you drink, you still feel dry, Take a tablespoon of raw honey. A tablespoon of raw honey. Um, the thing with raw and unfiltered honey like this is that it stinks, okay? It smells so freaking bad, but it is so freaking good, okay? So I feel like it's sweeter than the honey you buy in the store. Um... It's so good because when I started to get a dry, itchy throat, I just took a tablespoon of that and it coated my throat and my vocal cords so, so well that it literally healed it up. Like I, it just, it immediately worked and it took it away. Um, so, um, there you go. So, a tablespoon, oh, it's not in here, where it could it be? Where could it be? Oh, oh here it is. All right, so, a tablespoon. What I did is, I literally scooped this up because I wanted to make sure it was exact a tablespoon. Um, I took a tablespoon, ate it raw, and it quoted, it quoted my, my, um, my throat immediately. You can also take a regular spoon, go in there, and then eat it, and you're good to go. Um, what I did, because it was pure honey and it was super duper sweet, I washed it down with a little bit of water. A little bit of filtered water if you want to see how the tea is done comment below and I will post it I will post this that next video um, this week I will post it this week okay so let's recap make sure you have your masks with you make sure that if you have your allergy medicines your Advair that you are taking them as your doctor prescribed you I am not a doctor. I am just a person who lived with asthma all of my life. So this is what I do to prevent asthma, flu, influenza, colds, anything like that to my respiratory system. This is what I do to prevent it. Um, take Airborne. Airborne, you can find in Walmart. I'm going to list all of these things down in the description box um, with each link so that you guys can order it online and get it for yourselves. You wanna drink emergency. Um, 
These are powdered vitamin C's. They are a thousand milligrams. This will give you um, a, a support to your immune system and it will boost it as well. Um, vitamin C in pill form, um, two of these tablets, these are 500 milligrams, so two of these tablets in the morning, two at night, um, it'll be a thousand milligrams as well. Along with the emergency, that's 3,000 milligrams of vitamin C that you're taking a day in different forms. And of course, Ricola, because it's herbal. Um, for your throat, it helps immediately. It works better than Hulls. And ginger root, so that you can do ginger tea for you and your family. Um, this ginger tea, whenever I have the flu, it cuts the flu down to three days. I never have it more than three days. If I have it more, like if it's a, if it's something really bad that doesn't want to go away, I will do this ginger root tea. For, I will do it every night until the flu goes away and I'm telling you it works when Carlos gets the flu where he feels run down and super sick with the flu I do the ginger tea and it works all right so um, and don't forget your raw unfiltered honey you can buy raw unfiltered honey in the store or if you have a local farm you can reach out to them and get it. This is two pounds. I just got this actually and it works wonderfully for sore, sore throats and for your ginger tea as well for the flu. Okay. You guys, I hope this was helpful. I'm sorry this post is not as entertaining as other posts have been or as other videos have been. Um, I did want to come on here and record this video for you. Um, I did want to point out that ginger does have a um, an antibiotical property so anything in your system ginger will cut it out that is why I try to make the ginger tea as pure and spicy as possible so that when it is time uh, like to go to also you want to drink this tea before bed Okay, once you make your ginger tea and you put honey in there and sugar, make it as sweet as you want it to be, you want to drink it before bed and because once you drink this tea, you are not allowed to leave the house. You have to drink it before bed, okay? Um, and then you have to curl up in bed and sleep. It is going to make you sweat, okay? It sounds gross and it's, you're going to feel super hot, but I promise you, it works. It's going to make you sweat. You have to make sure you put socks on. If you have Vicks, you want to put Vicks all over your neck, your chest, your back, the back of your ears, and the palms, uh, or not the palms, the bottom of your feet, and put socks on. And bundle yourself up in bed really good once you drink this tea you're gonna sweat bullets and that is a good thing because that means that you're sweating all of this bacteria and all of this um, bad stuff that is in you you're gonna sweat it out and that's how I am able to cut the flu when I have it or and even prevent it sometimes during the winter I will just drink ginger tea before it hits me when I know that other people hit me uh, when other people I'm sorry have the flu um, and I know they said that coronavirus is the flu to the third power so ginger tea is going to help you I promise you guys ginger tea will help you you can chew it raw do not swallow it if you chew it you just want to chew it you can roll it because it's bitter you can roll it in sugar and chew it and swallow the juices it is going to sting it is going to hurt it is going to make your nose and eyes tear up okay but it works you can even dip it in raw honey and chew it just to get all those juices down your throat whenever you have a sore throat itchy throat scratchy throat like I do right now um, or just stick to the one tablespoon of raw honey that will help you like that trust me um, so you want to drink this ginger tea before bed 
and make sure that whatever medicine your doctor gives you to prevent asthma, if you are an asthmatic, um, to take them. Make sure you take them. Make sure you call your pharmacy and that you have enough, especially during this pandemic. Um, CVS just started. I don't know how long ago, but I know that CVS did start to deliver their um, prescriptions. So um, as long as you pay for it, I think you can pay for it over the phone or online and they will deliver it to you if you don't have a car and can get to them. Um, everything that I've mentioned here today, I will have it in the description box. If you want to see me do like a live version of the ginger tea um, and the ginger formats and go into um, an in-depth um, video, do an in-depth video on ginger and what properties is in there, what helps you, what does not. Um, I can also do that. Be aware though that if you do look it up yourself, there's a lot of scientists out there that are skeptical um, because they say that ginger, um, although it is good for other stuff, they don't necessarily believe that it can heal you or cure you from the flu. Um, mind you, everyone is different. Everybody is different. Um, so what works for me may not work for you. Um, so don't directly quote me on that ginger is good and honey is good. But I do know that ginger and raw honey are things that come from the earth that are meant to, um, be consumed by our bodies in a way that it will be of good and of health so um because we our bodies do come from the earth these things will help you um and at the very least it will improve your state if not cure you completely okay um thank you guys for tuning in happy saturday happy weekend happy quarantine Take this time to be with your families, to call each other, play games. Um, make sure that your family members are okay. Make sure that your parents and your grandparents have what they need. Um, I am constantly calling my mom and my dad because I don't live with them. So I want to make sure that they're okay. Um, this is a tough time for everyone. I know there is a lot of us who are scared and don't want to show it for the world, don't want to show it um, to our kids and our loved ones, but we are scared, we are scared. I am scared all the time that I can get it. That's why I stay home. I'm constantly washing my hands, I'm constantly cleaning, I'm constantly wiping stuff down, um, keeping this house as germ-free as possible. I'm kind of thanking God that I don't have children right now and that I'm not pregnant because otherwise I would be bald right now trying to keep them safe. Um, I would be super worried about them, super scared of, you know, where are we going to get the money during this lockdown to get their diapers or food or whatever they need. So I sympathize and I empathize with all you moms out there, dads out there, single parents. Um, my heart goes out to you and if you're watching this and you happen to stumble upon my video, thank you for watching. You are strong, you are loved, you are the best thing that child has ever had. Love your children because they love you unconditionally and we don't know what tomorrow brings right now. So. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your family. Share it with your loved ones. Um, subscribe to my channel. I will be posting more videos. Comment below if you want to see how I do my ginger tea and if you want to see it live. Um, or not live, but in a video. And show you different things that you can do with ginger and raw honey. Okay, the raw honey. Let me know, comment below, let me know. Um, 
I'm gonna try to post some entertaining videos, I promise. <laughs> if you like this video and you found it entertaining, thank you so much. So um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. All right, thank you guys, I love you. Mwah. Have a good night.